कैप्सूल नंबर नाइन इज फॉर अंडर ओवर एब्जॉर्बन ना हाउ टू फाइंड आउट दिस अंडर ओवर एब्जॉर्बन योर वी विल कंपेयर द एक्चुअल ओवर इट्स इनकर्ड दैट विल बी गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन विद द ओवर इट्स एब्जॉर्ब ना वॉट इज दिस ओवर इट्स एब्जॉर्ब फ्रेंड्स हैव टॉटी एब्जॉर्बन रेट एंड दैट विल बी चार्जिंग टू द कस्टमर तो यूजिंग दैट जस्ट चेक आउट हाउ मच यू हैव रिकवर्ड हाउ इट इज कैलकुलेटेड सी हैव रिटन यूर एक्चुअल एक्टिविटी इन टू द एब्जॉर्बन रेट ओके let's say that you know 2 rupees per unit was our absorption rate okay let's say 40000 units were produced so 40000 into 2 we could recover 80000 so now we'll compare the actual overheads with the overheads recovered from the customers okay and you will find the difference when your actual overheads are more and absorbed amount is less when your absorbed amount is less friends it is called under absorbed but when your actual overheads are less and your absorbed overheads is more You have recovered more from the customers. It is called over absorption. Okay, let's have a look at this numerical example. Absorption rate five per unit. Actual output five thousand. So I was supposed to recover five from every unit. I produce five thousand units. So what will be the overage incurred? It will be twenty five thousand overage absorbed. Got it? And what is the actual overage incurred? Twenty eight thousand. So in actual twenty eight thousand is my overage incurred, but I have recovered only twenty five thousand from the customer. So there is under absorption of what it trades. So this is how under over absorption is to be calculated.